Hey there, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto in Japan, and we're taking a look here at a 1991, 91, no, 2001, pardon me, Land Cruiser Prado. This one here with a three liter turbo diesel with intercooler, four wheel drive, and this one very special, extra thumbs up. It has a manual transmission, and this is the first time I've ever bought one with a manual transmission because they are quite rare and quite a bit more expensive than the automatic transmission. And this type of vehicle, I think most people, when they buy them brand new, they want to go with the automatic transmission. But the manual is just so much cooler, in my opinion, especially the Toyota manual transmission that's very robust, along with the diesel engine and the four-wheel drive. It's the go-anywhere and make all your friends jealous because you got the manual kind of vehicle. Okay, so I'm going to go over the auction inspection sheet. This was bought from auction. It's going to be exported to Canada. And so Lucky Canada gets another cool Land Cruiser 90 series. The 3 liter engine is called the 1KZ. And I'm going to turn it off pretty soon here. Because it is a diesel engine and diesels are a little bit loud. Compared to other diesels though, I quite like this. I like this engine because it's uh, fairly smooth, fairly quiet, and has a good amount of power for all of the vehicles that it comes in. It comes in this vehicle as well as the high ace and I'm trying to think of what else they put this in. I know it comes in the earlier version of the Land Cruiser that looks like that gold thing in there. But it's in this one with manual transmission. It's cool. Now, nothing wrong with it by the looks of it. It's at a little bit higher mileage than what you would expect, uh, 285, 981. Now, this higher mileage on this car with this engine doesn't worry me at all. I would certainly consider buying a, a, a Land Cruiser Prado with that high of mileage. You can see timing belt has been changed twice. There's this sticker here with another sticker underneath it. Well, I can't read that sticker on, uh, anymore, but this one says in 2013, uh, December 10th, 254 914 kilometers the uh, timing belt was changed and then uh, most likely the, the water pump as well top mount intercooler is cool and then fed through a hood vent which comes in through the grill and so you don't get a hood vent on this it's a little bit sad oh the hilux surf has this engine too so the air goes in here and into the secret intake and then into here through the intercooler so the faster you drive the cooler your intercool will, intercooler will be now i would uh put the hood down but it needs to be at head height and this one's up too high so i'm going to put the camera down and i'll be right back let me know in the comment section how good your tire vision was and those are uh, 2015 tires, I think, so actually pretty new. I'm going to translate the auction inspection sheet here, and then we'll go around the outside and then the inside of the vehicle. So it's a 2001 Land Cruiser Prado, not a 1991, sorry about that. It's a uh, four-wheel drive diesel TX. The TX means the eight-seater. And so that's kind of special to get the eight seats in a diesel SUV like this. Oh, I badly want this myself. I don't really have a need for it, I just want it. That's a problem with being a car guy. Uh, hopefully wives understand. <laughs> well, at least mine mine seems to. With all the cars, half of them actually belong to me now. <gasps> Yikes. Auction rate 3.5, interior B, exterior B. So generally good condition for the mileage. 285, 981, five speed manual, yes. Purchased from user, one owner vehicle. Um, uh, roof rails So if you want to put a cool basket style roof rack on there you can four-wheel drive original 16-inch wheels They're a little bit bad condition uh, Bumper guard five-speed manual. I don't know the actual uh, How common the five-speed manual is on this, but I think that it's probably pretty uncommon I would say probably less than five percent of them and then maybe about 60% more for the manual transmission one windshield rock chip but then also with resale value, you'll make it up there when you go to sell it. Interior scratched and dirty. Steering wheel is peeling. It's actually pretty bad. Underside surface rust. It's not bad at all. Wheels scratched. And then the body here. Take a look. we got a lot of marks on here. So big scrapes over here. Scratches, scrapes, scrapes. 
lots of them they're on the the plastic fender arches and so in that respect they'll be a little bit easier to repair and i'll show you those ones we've done the ones around the body itself is in quite good condition uh the, i'm talking about the metal and the white paint there you can see it's a a two-tone white with gold so this side is the more scraped up of the sides the other side's nicer but has two dents in it which i'll point out in just a second I think these Prados, they tend to hold their condition pretty well. The exteriors are generally pretty good. The interiors hold the condition very well. It's a nice little alternative to a minivan if you wanted to have a family vehicle with enough space for people. Um, I personally drive a minivan, but unless you go with a high ace or a caravan, you can't get a diesel minivan for your kids. And my wife said no to the the high ace when I showed it to her she said that looks like an industrial vehicle and I'm like yeah that's awesome right and she's like nope I want a BMW or a Mercedes-Benz and their SUVs are too expensive for me okay so paint chips on here yellow headlights and fog lights you get this cool little mirror here to see uh, from the driver's seat how close you are here obviously the previous owner didn't use it that much because we got big scrapes along here and remember because it's all in the plastic you can get just that plastic repainted and then you can go with a different color than gold if you're not down with the gold look down here scrapes on that scrapes all along here so all marked on the auction sheet as I would ex expect and so no surprises really with this car some paint fade on here a scratch up here oddly some scratches up here wonder what they were doing okay we've got some ouchies here oh no I backed into a pole you know what's funny is when it's a one owner vehicle you know all of the damage on there comes from you it's not like, was that there before I bought it? Okay, the two dents are right here. And they're pretty mild. And then I'll show you the scrapes on this part too. Okay, so I got pictures of all of that in case you want to see better details of it. Underside looks good. Door cards, uh, it's not only this one, a couple of the other ones have some glue marks here. It looks like they tried to glue this back on, but the glue see uh, like seeped into the fabric a little bit so you can see it through. Oh, watch this. Clutch start cancel. That's cool. Normally you have to put the clutch in in order to start it, but this is the only car I've ever seen that allows you to choose whether that's an option or not. Very cool. Okay, so bad peeling along here. Damage from the sun. You get speakers up here, or tweeters I guess. And then bigger speakers down there. Looks like six and a quarters. Turn the lights on. Ooh, green. Mmm. Very 1980s. Dashboard, also very simple, but will continue to be stylish throughout its life. Oh, yes, I forgot. Actually, I didn't, but yeah, five speed. Oh, and it feels so good to shift it. Like, feels very robust. Feels like you can miss every shift ever when you're driving, and it will still work. This one here. Let's you know you're about to fall over. That one there shows you which direction that you're in. And it actually works because a lot of them don't work, the compasses on these. And then this part, very cool. Look, you can check your barometric pressure, your altitude. And this is a graph over the last 12 hours. So here's 12 hours ago, nine hours ago, six hours ago, three hours ago, and now. So the, yeah, uh, the altitude obviously hasn't changed. This one here is for higher altitude. Average speed, well the car hasn't driven for the last 12 hours. A timer, so you can go racing in this if you want. To temperature, ooh look at that, temperature's gone up. Oh! And barometric pressure has stayed about the same. I love the weather stuff in there. You can be your own weatherman in the car. Down, up, 
that's for antenna don't think that the last owner was a smoker because there's no damage in the ashtray like ashes and cigarette lighter obviously has never been used it's rear wheel drive most of the time until you want to go into four wheel drive and you can do that actually there should be a button uh, 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 idle up button that's pretty sweet but no it's automatic four wheel drive so then you just go um, if you want locked differential you can go up and if you want low gear range you go up again Okay, dashboard is good, nice and beige. This, I found an error in the car. That does not work. And I don't know how you fix something like that. I know for me, it would drive me crazy. Okay, center seats, a decent amount of room, not an extra large amount of room, but it is an eight seater. Now these can lean back a little bit more. I have them in the most upright position currently. I kind of wish this was a little bit bigger because kids love these as pillows and when they're small maybe they don't work as well I don't know cup holders in here and ashtray rubber mats all the way around yes even in the back which is super cool a little bit weird to lower this you pull this and it's easier to do with two hands and then you pull this one up and then that goes up and then you can get into the back and the seats in the back are a little bit small but they're useful and here you have the rubber mat again and then when you don't want the seats in the back you can flip them up to the sides so it takes up less cargo room and then some people will just take them out completely but they do have this in a five seater version that you can get if you're not into the back seats. This opens nice and wide, opens fully wide so that you can put something in that is as wide as the, the back. And so sometimes these back doors don't do that, like kind of CRV. Okay, and it's pretty easy to flip these up to the side. It only takes a, a couple seconds, but you do need two hands in order to do it. Prado. Cool. So, Manual transmission, I'm gonna call it a mountain muncher. I just made that up myself. This is a, you drive on mountains, it's like munching them. Oh, I got the headlights on, I didn't realize. Needs those headlights polished. Okay, that is the end of the video. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Check out our website, check out all of that jazz. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day.